From Connecticut's news leader, this is NBC Connecticut News at 11. An Ellington man sick with an on and off cough and fever for 15 years made the rounds from doctor to doctor but no one could figure out exactly what was wrong. Finally, a specialist at UConn solved this medical mystery, and you'll never believe what was causing his illness. Lisa Carberg has the story. Scott Bean lives to play. I'm a professional trombone player. Uh, this is what I went to school for. Um, I love it. it. Nothing else I would like to do. But for years, it was a struggle. Every time I played trombone, I coughed and it got in the way of my playing. It wasn't just a cough. There was a low-grade fever and on and off weight loss. Oh, and this went on for 15 years. It's really frustrating, obviously. I had many doctors who just said I had asthma. And he came to see me, and I also couldn't figure out what it was, despite doing multiple studies, including a biopsy. Then, Yukon pulmonologist Mark Matursky says a light bulb went off. Scott said he felt better when he went on vacation and didn't play his trombone for a week. Dr. Matursky decided to look at what might be growing in Scott's trombone. A lab here at UConn discovered the mother load, mold and bacteria, and that wasn't the worst part. It didn't surprise me very much that we found it. How many that were there that we could see under the microscope uh, did surprise me. It was it was heavily contaminated. The little pink spots on this slide show the bacteria. This type of uh, allergic type reaction, it isn't a one in a million kind of kind of um, occurrence. So from there, Scott helped the doctor round up more musicians to test their instruments for a study. And we found that virtually every instrument was heavily contaminated with similar kinds of bacteria and similar kinds of molds. Scott now cleans his trombone daily. As a result, he feels like a new person. Everything has been great. I, I have a lot more energy. Lisa Carberg, NBC Connecticut News. And Dr. Matursky's study appears in this month's edition of the journal Chest. He hopes other physicians will now ask their patients, do you play an instrument before diagnosing conditions such as asthma?